My name is Jonna Patterson and I am a volunteer at the Dali. I'm a docent and I take lots of wonderful people through our museum to teach them about Salvador Dali. Uh, I was hired in 1989 as the education coordinator, although I did Dali's funeral two weeks after I was hired and I set up for the parties in the Order of Salvador and wrote grants and did a lot of education for students in the area. I've stayed with the Dali for a long, long time because I fell in love with the Morses the moment I met them and Salvador Dali. I had taught art for 10 years here in Pinellas County and I knew of Dali and his wonderful works, but really did not understand him until I came to the Dali Museum. Experience with Dali's art probably goes, the first hand was when I was standing beside Mr. Morse's desk when he got the call that the gala acid or gala si dala si desoxy ribu nucleic acid painting came from $4 million down to $1 million. And I turned to him and I said, if I have to take a tin cup out on Central Avenue to raise money for this painting, I will do it. And we started raising money and we bought it. I think most people in St. Petersburg were thrilled that a new museum was coming. I think they couldn't believe that the collection was as massive as it was. And of course there were uh, local leaders, Jim Martin for instance, uh, saw the ad in the newspaper for it being uh, relocated. Uh, Mayor Corinne Freeman uh, was instrumental in bringing uh, the museum here. Again, Judge Ware, uh, Joan Croft, the curator, I, I tease her even to this day that she came in and sat on the boxes for two years guarding these paintings until we could get the museum open. So I think the whole community was thrilled. The Morrises were probably one of the most unassuming um, couples you would ever meet. One vision that I have is Mr. Morris in his crumpled Stetson hat, his turquoise bolo tie, a old shirt, sometimes hanging out of his belt, old pair of jeans, and Mrs. Morse in a pair of casual slacks, looking, of course, very nice, but then just walking hand in hand down the front sidewalk going to lunch. You would never, ever know that they had collected in their lifetime this wonderful art collection. They loved him very much, and they were very interested in Dali. When he became very ill, uh, in, I would say, around 1980, and then he, Dali passed away in 1989. The Morses really were there to help him, to keep him, to be sure that his world was okay. Ah, my special memories with the Morses. Ah, I've mentioned the Gala, uh, Gala C. Dala C. Desoxy Ribu nucleic acid painting. And that was very funny because he said, we can buy this for a million dollars. Now, I don't know where the rest of the money came for that painting, but I have a good idea because all the docents had fallen in love with it. Uh, another special moment, uh, when they came to my home on Treasure Island for dinner uh, with my late husband, um, when another judge in town, Judge Beach, we would all go to dinner at the St. Pete Yacht Club and what was interesting is Judge Beach also collects Western art. So Mr. and Mrs. Morse and my late husband, Judge Patterson and I went up to Judge Beach's house and Morse fell in love with his Western collection. They laughed always about staying at the St. Regis Hotel with Salvador Dali. And I use this in many of my tours because Dali, of course, knew that 
the Morses loved his paintings. So many times, the bellman would knock on the door and here would be a rolled canvas with a hotel bill. And of course that meant pay the hotel bill and then we'll, you will have a new painting. So he did it so many times, according to Wren Morse, that Mr. and Mrs. Morse went down in New York somewhere at a five and dime store and found a rubber chicken with no feathers. So Mr. Morse tied a little string around its neck and had a sign that said, Dali, you've plucked me clean. Stay away for a while. Art is based on the creativity of the artist, but you have to look around politically, wars that happen, um, horrible times, Goya, Spain, the Spanish Civil War. You have to know the history of the world in order to know how the artists paint and why they painted. I want the staff and the future docents and all the volunteers to understand Salvador Dali. He's a very complicated artist, but he had a heart and he had humor. And all he wanted to do was paint. He didn't really want to deal with the business part of it. He just wanted to paint. And oh my gosh, look what we were given. Look what we have. You can go through this museum. I think I could go through this museum every day for the next 10 years and find something new that would just fascinate me. And I look at all the tours that I give, all the people I just literally drag in here. And it's, I just want you to be excited about the Salvador Dali Museum as I am.